Hi and welcome to Chicky Richa Cooking's Chayote or Chocos cooked in white sauce. These things grow so fast. I've got a Choco vine here and they would grow probably half as big as that again in a day or so. They've got a very high alkaline content so you have to peel them under running water. Don't try and peel them normally otherwise you this like this almost like plastic skin sticks to your hands and it's hard to remove it even if you use vinegar. So we're going to peel these, we're going to boil them in some salted water for about 20 minutes until they're nice and tender and then we're going to get on to our white sauce. So I'll just go and peel these at the sink and I'll get back to you. Okay, now these have been peeled now and they do have in the center of them a seed or kernel. There it is there. Now we're going to lose that because these chocos are a bit old and we don't want to be using those because it can be a bit fibrous. But if you have really, really young ones, you don't even have to peel them. If they're only about that big, you can use them unpeeled and without removing this seed. Just pop that back in the fresh water. Take all of the skin off these and we're just sitting there in the moment. We're going to actually cut them up better than that in a second because I happen to like them when they're like in slivers if you can understand that not in big chunks. You can bake these. I don't know why you'd want to. They're really quite bland if you bake them and they are delicious with butter and salt and pepper. They're such a mild vegetable too so you can generally get kids to eat them fairly easily. They've got so much water in them. If you've got one of these growing in your yard it'll be feast or famine. If you've got them everybody's got them. If you haven't got them and you're fancying some chocos <laughs> they're going to be about eight dollars a kilo so make hay while the sun shines and continue with the rest okay now we're just going to slice these up now into slices like so keep them in the water because as you're slicing them they're going to be letting some of that slippery slimy sort of juice out of them a bit like what you get off okra and stuff like that it's a very low carb vegetable too Okay, when you're not finding any resistance in your little slices, we're just going to turn that off, completely drain them and allow the water to keep draining away from them and we'll make our sauce. Don't need to wash the pan, it's all going back in there anyway. While that's draining, we're going to throw our butter and our vegetable salt into our pan with some freshly cracked pepper. And then we need this butter to completely melt before we add our flour and we're essentially making a roux. To which we're going to add our milk and thicken our sauce. Now you want this quite thick because the choco is really quite watery, even though it's draining at the moment in the sink, it will actually water this down a little bit. Okay, now we've mixed that till it's really, really quite thick. And we're going to return our choco or chayote back to our pan and stir this all through it. I just tip it all back in and just fold that through and turn it off because it's actually hot enough now. Now you can put a bit of cheese on this if you like and pop it under a grill, make it like an au gratin, but you'll get anybody to eat that even if they don't like chocos. Okay, ready to serve. Here's our creamy chayote or choco in a nice white sauce. This reheats beautifully and you can also sprinkle some cheese or some breadcrumbs on top of it and pop it under the grill. But that, just like that, is delicious. A bit more pepper on top. And there you have it, Chiggy Richo Cookings. Very simple, budget friendly chayote or cream of choco. Thanks for watching. A little taste, shall we? Mm. <laughs> really mild, really tasty, and very healthy. Thanks for watching.